show. I'm so excited this morning because we're right here at Eat, Play, Move LA with the woman behind the vision and mission of Eat, Play, Move LA. Very courageous woman. I was just telling her, oh my goodness, Miss Delgado, Lauren, how brave you are to do something like this for our Filipino American community, most especially. But I see other people I with us. That. Yes. I had a lot of help. Uh, my partner, unfortunately, is running around um, and is letting me take the break. So Ray Sot is not here. Uh, but I did have a lot of help and uh, a lot of support from the community. And uh, we have here one of the uh, hosts of our venue place. He's one of our partners. Zach Golden and one of the partners. Yes at the Sanctuary Fitness. That's actually where we are. Welcome, Zach. Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here. Of course, of course, and I'm so excited. Yeah. I know you're opening up another branch fairly soon. We, at the old Pasadena. You are correct. Right now we're, we're in downtown LA. Yeah. Tell them exactly where you are. We are in the Arts District, right next to Little Tokyo on Jackson Street. Um, and then we are opening in maybe six to eight weeks in Old Town Pasadena, just south of Colorado, by La Grande Orange and Copa Vida Coffee. So it's a really great spot, free parking lot. Steps we, away from the metro. Yay! Yeah. And we are there. Both my daughter and I love Old Town Pasadena. Oh, wow, We've been to some of your competitors. We will not mention those <laughs> names. Okay. It's all about Sanctuary Fitness today. That's right. And of course, Eat, Play, Blue Valley. Now, let me go back to this nice lady. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Well, Lauren, do tell. What made you think about doing such an amazing, huge event, which I know what it's like, because I've done festivals. Yeah. I've actually done historic Filipino town festival, and oh, okay. it's not to this size or caliber. Right. We are hoping to get here, but do tell what moved you. I'm going to use a play of words, what moved you to do this. <laughs> Uh, well, it's funny, I'm in politics, uh, and not many people know that October is Filipino American History Month. It is, and I know that. Right, because okay. you work <laughs> That's right. So there's people like you and me that need to remember that uh, for the rest of the community. And not a lot of people know about Filipino food in LA, which is surprising because it has a lot of signature flavors. Um, so my best friend Ray Son and I were having dinner about two years ago and he wanted to throw a food festival and I wanted to throw something in October so we just over sushi put our heads together and that's how it was conceptualized. I would have wanted to be at that sushi table yeah. planning this thing with them, right? It must have been an exciting evening well, just throwing out ideas, <laughs> right? I'm just going to put my night. glasses because of the little glare but other than that and I think it makes me look better on camera anyway. No so, <laughs> so anyway Tell me how long it took you. This is your, you're on your second year. This is our second year, yes. The first one you were mentioning was at the Eagle Rock Mall. So the first one was at the Eagle Rock Plaza. Uh, we took up half of their parking lot. Um, and 25,000 people showed up, unbeknownst to our own expectations. So That's amazing. I'm envious. <laughs> no, I'll be happy be. to get what your initial projected uh, attendance was, 3,000. I would have wanted that at my festivals. Yeah. But yes, 25,000. Please do tell, what is the secret behind that marketing ploy? I don't think there was any secret to the marketing. Although I will give props to my partner, Ray Song, who's a social media group. Uh, that's it, that's it. I attribute it more to a need mm -hmm. um, in the community. And you were filling one. And a desire. Sure. Um, I didn't, we didn't market to many Filipinos, as you know. If you hear the word Filipino and you're Filipino, you tend to support regardless. Yes. Uh, we marketed to the, as Rayson would say, the Brads of Silver Lake and the Nicoles of Beverly Hills who don't Love know it. Filipino food. Um, and we wanted to give them their first taste. And how did you, are you willing to share that little social media secret with us? How did you do that? How did you get to the Brads and to the Nicoles? It's funny. We did, uh, we did two targeted Facebook ads, I uh, remember Rayson and I, we we filmed a ton of ads, just me and him, we called it the Lord and Rayson show, Fine. and one of the ads went viral and hit uh, 1.2 million hits in 12 hours after we dropped the app. Wow. I mean, I had... I'm going to look that up. I had it spread to Hawaii, there were parts of the Philippines that were tweeting about it. Um, nice. But again, it, it, I think it just indicates a desire um, to learn more about Filipino cuisine and the Filipino 
and I think the time is right. The time is here. The time is now. You've heard of that documentary that was just completed on Filipino American chefs here in LA. You have not. Uh, Ulam. I believe that's what it's yeah. called. Yeah. Are you part of that? I'm not, but Rayson, my best friend and partner, he's very good friends with the producer of Ulam. So I actually met her uh, three days ago. Okay, have you gotten a hold of that video and have actually seen it? Or? I have not, unfortunately. I, I know, me I neither. I only watch things on Netflix um, with Zach. Uh, <laughs> 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 um, but I hear it's great, um, and she said she would send me this. Yay, okay. So, what next for Miss Lauren Delgado? What's up? What are you uh, doing? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> sleep would be nice. Okay. Um, you know, when you throw events like this, you, you want to make sure that the budget is there. Sure. The marketing is there. Sure. The brand is there. And you had all three going into this project or was it like I had all three uphill? I had all three uh, in infant form. Sure. And now my job after this with Rayson is to grow that infant into a toddler that knows how to walk and talk. Oh, she's ready for motherhood. And, oh God, I mean no, the I analogy. <laughs> I'm putting words that. in there. No, 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 you We're did not. We're both turning red. And, all right, but yeah, and this body, oh, she wants to keep it this way for a while. Right. Keep it tight this and is right. thanks to sanctuary fitness. This is thanks to sanctuary And this fitness. is why I'm, I'm thankful to the producer Paul for keeping me behind this table because it's not quite <laughs> a sanctuary fitness body yet, but we'll get there, right, Zach? Oh, yeah. With Zach's help. Absolutely. Okay, so you made money. I would assume with the first one, enough to think about going in. Because if you did not, then you would have basically have thrown in the towel. I am thinking, I'm guessing, 25,000, 25,000. And I, looking at you, you're pretty much an empowered woman who knows her business. You know how to monetize. You're not about, you're about giving back to the community, but you're not. I'm not dumb. I thank you. I was going to say stupid, but I didn't want to say that. You're um, not naive. I am not to, naive. You know what I'm saying? To um, say, I'll do this for the love of without knowing how to sustain. It's all about sustainability. Correct. How do you sustain a project? It's so easy to get anything off the ground. How do you sustain it? Do you see the look on my face? Yes, please. I did not thought. make any money last year. Oh, darn. Um, <laughs> because that wasn't the goal. Sometimes when <sighs> you put things together, you can't chase the money in the beginning. You just can't. Because if I people think you're being sold something her. in the beginning, it's And see how the producer behind this camera is nodding with you. How long have we been doing this, Paul? But never mind, that's another story also. <laughs> okay, go for it. It's disingenuine to try to sell someone on your culture and, and something near and dear to my heart, which is my culture and my food. You're gonna make me cry. It just, it doesn't, it didn't make sense at the beginning to try to sell someone that dream. Now, are we selling tickets this year? Absolutely, and that's only because we tripled our size, we tripled our staff, and we needed the numbers in order to make it work. Um, and you're archiving this, right? Because then it's now becomes easier to get funding from other sources if you've got correct. photos to show for it, numbers, stats. Um, today's marketing is all about content creation. Sure. Um, so I have several videographers. I'm on a podcast myself, so I have Yay. my podcast team kind of roaming with their cameras, they're running the stage. So okay. Rayson is taking generator, uh, generators, he's taking content creation on his own part. Sure. Um, and we have a new creative director, her name is Anne Suerto. Uh, have I met her? She was standing. That's what I thought. Yeah. She looked like a little she's, she's, able woman. She's my bulldog. Yay, um, yay. So we're going to focus on rebranding and the content creation from this year's festival to create somewhat, something um, than this one. Now, how can the Coffee Corner Show help you and support you? You just have to this. come and attend every time. Sounds like a plan, Paul. Can we learn from this lady, Paul? Of course. <laughs> and we'll be right back after a few commercials. We're back here at the Coffee Corner Show with the amazing woman, Lauren Delgado, who organized Eat Play Move LA here at Sanctuary Fitness. Thank you, Zach Golden. And if you weren't with us earlier, you gotta just play this back on YouTube. By the way, <laughs> find us, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
and do subscribe on YouTube, The Coffee Corner Show. And do you guys want to share your website as well? And maybe a piece of advice or an invitation to those who are as impassioned as you are as we go, go for it. Sure. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple. I'm going to shout out the Santa Maria Group, which is my uh, our consulting firm here in downtown. Nice. We're a registered lobbyist in the city, state, and county of Los Angeles. Yay! Uh, so that's santamariagroup.com. Uh, also, the local show, my podcast team, and my content creators. Sure. That's l o k e l dot com. The local show, and cool. of course, to the organization that uh, Ray San and I put together for this event, the Filipino American Heritage Movement of Los Angeles. That's right. Love I said it. movement. Love it. That's what we're doing. Uh, Love it. F a h m l a dot com. Wonderful. And a few words from Zach are very sure. generous. <laughs> Vendor supporter, Thank sure. Thank you. Yeah, just hopefully you guys can come and check out Sanctuary Fitness. If you're near downtown LA, we're right in the Arts District. If you're over closer to Pasadena, we are opening a new studio in Pasadena in about six to eight weeks, probably in December, maybe November if we're lucky. But our big thing is just mindfulness and wellness. It's it's we want you to be the strongest you that you can be. But our tagline is peace through perspiration. So. It's approachable for anybody, all ages, all fitness levels. Uh, this is not uh, necessarily uh, discriminatory. Anyone can come in, uh, just come as you are, and then we will find out your goals and make you the best you can be. And you've got a promo. We One, three week of classes. That's Go talk to them about that. absolutely right. In Pasadena, when we open our grand opening, the first week is free for you. So just come on in, we've got cars, we're passing them out along Colorado Boulevard over the next few weeks, or you can find us online at sanctuaryfitness.com. So we'll, well see. thank you guys, I know you've got to work and we've got to work with Paul. We'll see you right around here thank at the Coffee Corner Show. We're here at the Coffee Corner Show, and oh my goodness, this is so much fun with Michael Leland. This is Eat, Play, Move LA, an event that was organized by the awesome Lauren Delgado and Rayson Esquejo. And of course, one of their major vendor venue sponsors is Sanctuary Fitness. Thank you, Zach Golden, for allowing us to do our little interview over at your place. Wonderful place, by the way. And I know he's opening up a place in Old Town Pasadena in about a couple of months. But let's talk about Michael and Leland Bakery. Talk to me about what moved you to participate in this event. Oh, wow. Um we always love doing events, especially these kind of Filipino events, especially for me. Any, any chance we have to showcase how amazing Filipino food is, it makes me so proud to see all the different venues over here, all the new kinds of restaurants pushing Filipino food out here in the middle of downtown Los Angeles. Here we are, we're, we're, we're here doing our part, doing our traditional world's famous Leland Bakery Halo Halo, which we have. You already offered us some sampling of that. Oh yes, definitely. As well as something very special. As you know, Leland's is famous for ensamadas. Yes. We also have today something for the hot day, a grilled ensamada ube ice cream sandwich. I love that. I think you actually gave me an opportunity to try that out during Garancitas. Yes, yes. Where we have the ensamada, where we grill it and melt in the top, and inside is the ube ice cream. Perfect blend. Perfect for today. It's a symphony in your mouth, right? Yes, yes, definitely. So tell them where they can find you, the branches. Oh, yes, we have four locations here in Southern California, in Cerritos, Eagle Rock, uh, Koreatown in L.A., and in North Hills. Wonderful, and we'll see you around, okay? Thank you so much. So see someone who's not afraid of competition. It's all about cooperation. Oh, that's right? what it is. And just enhancing. The more we can get Filipino food out there, more people proud of Filipino food, more people sharing Filipino food, the better for everyone. I love it. Your website for them. LelandBakeryCafe.com. That's L-E-E-L-I-N, BakeryCafe.com. Wonderful. Thank you, Mike. And say hello to your dad Will for do. me. Thank you so much. We'll be right back Thank here you. at the Coffee Corner Show.
Hi, we're still here at the Eat, Play, Move LA event. It's an amazing event and I have an amazing person right next to me by the name of Christiana Knanan and she is with Cheery Cheery. Talk to me about this fun place. Hi, so we're Cheery Cheery. We're a vegan Filipino ice cream. Wow. All of it is inspired by our family. Uh, our Lolo and Lola share our stories and we want to continue sharing that stories for the youth so that they have something that is regional and special. Wonderful. I know you said it takes a while to put one thing together. What do you do? Just explain that to me. So we have here Buka Pandan, which is our best seller. So we're going to share with everyone the Rice Krispies layered with the Buka Pandan ice cream and topped with rainbow sprinkles and a little decor so that you can see the siesta and the, and the fun things that happen in fiesta time in the Philippines. Yay! And how long, when did you want us to come back to do that? Because I know you're still getting settled, right? Oh, oh we're, we're ready to go. We're ready. If you okay, want to let's do it, let's, yeah. do, it. let's okay. do it. All right, so let me go get the... Okay, so Paul, they're one of the uh, preferred vendors on the list to cover because they actually will be doing some media preview tasting. And so we're going to try and do this. I know, it's a little loud. We've got so much going on here. We've got some dancing going on stage. Paul, you might want to take a look at the dancing one. Oh. So this is Buka Pandan ice cream. You're watching it live here at the Coffee Corner Show. Arts District. Cheery, cheery. Vegetarian ice cream. Prepared with love. Anybody can fake it. Take a real one to make it. If you think you're that hot, show me what you got. Yeah, that's right. I'm Producer of the show, and I will be sharing this shortly. Thank you, Christiana. Now, where's your place at? Do you have a website? We're a pop up, so you can find us at Instagram, cheery underscore cheery. That's C H E E R I underscore C H E E R I. Or on Facebook, and you can follow us, and we're going to be sharing with everyone. And as you follow them, make sure to follow us at the Coffee Corner Show Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and do subscribe on our YouTube channel. We'll be right back here at Eat Play Move LA. We're back here at the Coffee Corner Show at Eat Play Move LA with the Donut Princess herself, May. Hi, how's it going? Good, good. Talk to me about what this is so fun. So we have our amazing ube, half croissant, half donut with cream. This one right here, it's one of my favorite ones. It's got powdered sugar and homemade whipped cream, homemade ube cream. This is my second favorite. It's the ube crumb donut. It's very moist on the inside and crunchy on the outside. We also have it with fruity pebbles and sprinkles. But most importantly, this Texas size donut. It's literally a 14 by 14. And let's move over to your shop. You guys do such a great job merchandising. Let me stay here. Go for it. So I, over here we have our um, Filipino colored ones here with red, yellow, and blue for the Filipino flag. And then we've got their Nutella Krona over here with cinnamon sugar. And over here we have it with house cream and strawberries. And we have our Galaxy Donut here as well. So. We brought lots of delicious donuts here for e Play Viv, so come on by. Tell them where they can find you. You can find us at DK's Donuts in Santa Monica. We're open 24 hours on 1614 Santa Monica Boulevard. And Donut Princess LA is a delivery only company where we deliver donut bouquets and we do special events. Wonderful, thanks baby. Thank you. We'll be right back. Eat, play, and move LA. This time it's with Catherine of Jamae Baker. You've been around for 25 years. Who knew? 
You know, we definitely didn't expect it, but we're thankful for every day that we're open, for sure. Wonderful. Tell me where your branches are at and what is this I'm holding? I want to eat it. So we're located in Long Beach, California. My mom started yeah. the store back in the Philippines. Wow. Uh, she opened yeah. our doors in Long Beach 25 years ago. Wow. And today we brought a couple of different things, but today I'm holding our ube flan cake. So it's a really rich ube cake that's topped Ooh. with a creamy leche flan. And we have our ube bacon. Two of my favorite banana. things. This is bacon bits? Yes. That is interesting. So, real bacon bits, cheddar cheese, and it's filled with ube halaya that we cook in store. And you know what? I do like that salt and sweet yes. kind of mixture. Yeah, it's definitely it be the thing now. complimenting flavors for sure. Right, so is this, are these your best sellers, you would think? Uh, you know what? These are actually new products for us. And they've been very well received. Like a lot of people really love it. So we're really well, happy about that. Give them your website. We got to tell them that you're around. No and you problem. Feel, and we, you want to stay long, right? Oh, we're for sure. Be for a long time. Cheers to another 25 years, hopefully. Go for it. Sure. So we're located in Long Beach, California, and our website is www.jamay.com. Wonderful, Catherine. So. Like her on Facebook, like us, The Coffee Corner Show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do subscribe on YouTube, The Coffee Corner Show, with Catherine here of Jamay Bakery out of Long Beach. We'll be right back. Thank you, hon. Thelma of The Coffee Corner Show still here at Eat, Play, and Move LA with Chrissy this time. Chef Chrissy dot eats. Oh my goodness. This is liquid nitrogen infused ube treat. Kitchen 1726. Why kitchen 1726? It's my birthday is the day after Christmas. And my husband's birthday is July 17th. So oh my goodness. I love it. Yeah. I love it. So this is this is essentially um, a fractured ice cream. So it's coconut milk, sugar, and ube halaya, or ube jam. Yes, that's this it. This is astronaut food. Yes, it is, it is. It's Filipino astronaut food. I love it. Yes. I love it. So tell us where they can find you. I have a pop-up in Orange County, in downtown Santa Ana. And um, if you follow my Instagram, you'll be able to see you know, all my schedules and all my um, events. And I also do private events and um, cooking lessons and a private chef, all that stuff. I want your card, Chrissy. Okay, I have one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. That's Chrissy's little card, and I'm actually going to call her. I love this. I just did the uh, space conference oh, wow. not too long ago. I do events. But this is for the Coffee Corner Show. Like her on her Facebook yeah. account. Like us on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter account, The Coffee Corner Show, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Back here at the Coffee Corner Show at Eat, Play, Move LA. This time with the great Jonathan from uh, Home so Brewed Bar yeah. in Cerritos and in Pasadena. You've got two, two locations. Ranches. Yes, two Talk locations. Tell us about what I'm looking at here. Oh, so what we have here, starting on, I guess, our left hand side is going to be our um, taro, our taro milk tea, right? Essentially ube. Uh, in the middle there, we have our what we call our vanilla toddy latte, which is essentially um, our toddy latte is a cold brew process. So it's cold brew coffee, vanilla flavor. And then on the very right hand side is going to be our matcha pistachio milk tea as well. I love them all. I'm going to gain 50 pounds after this show, Paul. Yeah, absolutely. And, then and the here, we, have our, we actually have our, um, our house made um, taro, uh, taro whipped cream. Wow. We'll redo that one. But. Wow. Now tell me. Where they can find you online if they want to get more information? Uh, online, you can find us. Uh, you can find us on e either of our Instagrams, which are either uh, Homebrewed Bar or Homebrewed Bar Cerritos, uh, and then um, HomebrewedBar.com as well. Wonderful. So that's our. Uh, I love it. I love it. Oh my God, I'm dying. 
How many calories is this thing? Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> okay, so. It's a weekend, so it's fine. No wonderful. Diet, no diet cheat day, cheat yes, day. Correct. So follow them on their Facebook. Follow us, The Coffee Corner Show, on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We'll keep bringing you into this fun events over the next few days. And, of course, subscribe on our YouTube channel, The Coffee Corner Show. Thank you. We'll be right back on to our next vendor. Thank you. Back here at Eat, Play, Move LA. And uh, this time with this vendor, look at how pretty she is. Mo with kindness and mischief coffee in Highland Park. Exactly. Now talk to me how you came up with the name. The name actually came from a Mary Oliver poem. Uh, yeah, so it's we really roll too. <laughs> we definitely just believe in both and we don't think either have to be mutually exclusive. So yeah, we believe in kindness and in mischief. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She's not only kind, she's also mischievous in a good kind of way. Hopefully, now right? talk to us about your menu. <laughs> Menu. So we actually have two specials today. We have the Open the Light, which is just a play on a Filipino phrase that we do, and then the Phil Am. So the Open the Light is our Buco Cold Brew, or Buco Pandan Whipped Cream, excuse me, with our Coconut Condensed Milk Cold Brew. And then the Phil Am is a, a mix of our Angelino Heritage with that prickly pear, and then the Calamansi with our Filipino. Love yeah. it. And I'm it has the Calamansi try. Whipped Cream. I'm going to try that. Really. Absolutely. The Phil Am. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so where can they find you again? We are in Highland Park, Los Angeles. Come over. <laughs> our uh, Facebook, if you have Our any. Facebook, absolutely. Our Facebook is Kindness and Mischief Coffee. And then our Instagram handle and Twitter handle is K-A-N-D-M Coffee. K-N-M Coffee. So follow Mo of Kindness and Mischief. And don't forget to follow us, the Coffee Corner Show, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And subscribe on YouTube, the Coffee Corner Show. Now, on to the next vendor. Thank you, Mo. Thank Enjoy you so the rest much. of the afternoon. Back here at the Coffee Corner Show. I love these events. There's tons of food. I hate the calories that come with them. But I do like this guy, James from Hope You Like It. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, so we're Hope You Like It. Uh, we are just gonna, we're a bakery and cafe. We have a lot of different options, but today we're actually showcasing our namesake, which is La Hopia. We have nine different flavors, so it really depends on your own personality on which one you want to have. Where's the original one? The yellow mungo, right? Yeah. And the baboy. The baboy is the onion and peanuts right over here. We have the yellow mungo right here. But you know you always got to have the ube, so we have the ube right here. And the buko pandan, yes, we do have that as well. We have Nutella as well, Nutella. and we also have pineapple, guava, peach, mango. So very fruity flavors as well. Wonderful. Where can they find you? I think I've been to the one in Canoga Park. Yeah. So we have We've two got locations. One in Granada Hills. Yeah. We have two locations: one in Canoga Park as well as Granada Hills, which is our most recent location. Wow. Yeah. Some more? Oh yeah, definitely. Hope so. Okay. Hopefully sooner than later. <laughs> well, good luck. We're just starting. The day's just starting, but everyone's yeah. coming here, so that's yeah. a good sign, right? It's exciting. Yeah, it's super exciting. Okay, we'll be right back here at the Coffee Corner Show. Your Facebook. Do a call. Do a call. Shout out. Yeah, I hope you Kalesa is our Facebook. Wonderful. And for us, do follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe on our YouTube channel, The Coffee Corner Show. On to the next one. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Still here with The Coffee Corner Show at Eat, Play, Move LA. I am, I'm having so much fun, Paul. I know, I know you're envious because I get to taste everything and you're working this. But you know what? This time we're with Chef Barb. Hi. <laughs> sweet. Big boy. Be sweet and big boy. Two different places. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, how do you combine it? So they're two different places. Yes, they are. Okay. Talk to me about what we're showcasing today. So we're showcasing from Be Sweet Dessert Bar our pandesal bread pudding with an ube drizzle. And then from Big Boy, we're having our chicken and pork adobo with a chata. Yummy. Yummy. We'll be back for that for sure. But yes, talk to me about how different your adobo is with every other adobo. <laughs> it's different. It's my Lola's recipe. So that I think that's, in, it. that's a secret. That's all I can say. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a secret recipe. Right? It is definitely. We're not going to tell anyone. No. But you will tell me later, right? 
Never. <laughs> Not even her. You'll have to kill me if you did, right? No, okay. I don't want to do that. I can't tell you. So tell me what your Facebook account is so they can watch and read about you. Our Facebook account, Kurt. I don't handle that. I do all the cooking, so I'm going to get the expert over here. Kurt, our Facebook account. Facebook account, oh, Kurt. Slash my be sweet. Everything is my beast. Okay. So oh, it's right behind me as well. Uh, so you my, see, I don't do any of that. So oh my goodness. <laughs> That's okay. That's all you need to do. That's what you're here for. And follow them and follow us, The Coffee Corner Show, on our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe on our YouTube. We'll be right back on to the next vendor. Thank you, Chef Barb. Good luck. Have a great day. <laughs>
It, we're at the uh, food truck alley. It's at Pennsylvania Avenue. And then the other one's going to be at Ocean Park. Santa Monica. It's close to the Santa Monica Airport. Wonderful. Uh, I'll find you there. Okay. That's where I was. Yes. We are at Smorgasburg as well. Uh, Smorgasburg is at downtown LA. It's close to the old American Apparel building. We're there from 10 to 4. That's along Broadway, right? Yes, it is actually. It is along Broadway. Broadway and Central, okay. I think. Okay. And exactly where that is. I'll find this man, Jay. Thank you. We'll be right back on to the next vendor. Back here at the Coffee Corner Show. This time, just doing a stand-up. Right behind me are Capamilia and Bamboo Grill. They're so busy with the lines. I'm so happy for them. So we don't have time to talk to the owners. But do find them. Bamboo Grill, the best Filipino barbecue, and Capamilia. I'm sure they've got their Facebook, Paul. And meanwhile... Follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, The Coffee Corner Show, and subscribe on our YouTube channel, The Coffee Corner Show. We'll see ya. Back here at The Coffee Corner Show, still here at Eat, Play, Move LA, and this time with Adrian of Wanderlust Creamery. My goodness, I love your skate bars. This is my favorite, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. I am gonna gain another 20 pounds before the day is over. Take the mic, will you, and talk to us about what you have. So our escape bars we just launched over the summer, they're exclusively available at Smorgasburg LA. We don't sell them in the stores quite yet. Uh, today for Eat, Play, Move, we made two special flavors inspired by Filipino American Heritage Month. Yay. We have Sans Rival Escape Bar and Amanga Escape Bar. Our Ube Malted Crunch Escape Bar is currently our best-selling escape bar. And these are the flavors that uh, we brought today to Eat, Play, Move. Wonderful, Adrian. And how long have you been in business? And tell them where to find you. Yeah. Uh, we have been in business since 2015. Our first brick and mortar is in Tarzana. Wow. And then we have one in Atwater Village. We have a third location in Venice. And then we have a weekly residency at Smorgasburg LA at The Row in downtown LA. And you can look out for us. We have two stores opening in 2019. And your Facebook page. Talk to them about where to find you. Um, our Instagram is Wanderlust Creamery. And uh, you can find us on Facebook, Wanderlust Creamery. Thank you, Adrian. And Thanks. find us and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Coffee Corner Show. Thank you, Adrian. On to the next vendor, Paul. <laughs> Back here at the Coffee Corner Show, we're still at Eat, Play, Move LA. It's an amazing event. The people are trickling in, and I'm here with JR Martin of Tata. Hello. Talk to us about your menu. Today we are serving langonisa meatballs, organic chicken lumpia, and ube fries. Wonderful. And where can they find you? This is amazing. We're located in North Hollywood. Yay. And you have a Facebook? Yes. You can find us on Facebook, Tatang. Dash LA. Wonderful. And your most popular dish? Our longanisa meatballs, our organic chicken lumpia, as well as our ube fries. I will try that later. Thank you. Next to the next on to the next vendor, Paul. Thank you. We're back at the coffee corner show, still here at Eat Play Move LA. And this next guest is my favorite person in the entire Filipino community space, I must say. <laughs> But, anyway. <laughs> but you know what? He has rightfully claimed the post as Commissioner of Public Works, very close to our mayor. He was then our councilman at District 13. Yeah, Thelma, hi. Hi. Wonderful. Joel Jacinto. I'm already assuming everyone knows you. Thank no you. need of introduction. This is Joel Jacinto, Executive Director of SIPA for many years. You grew that organization. I always tell you this, and I will never tire to one of the more legitimate Filipino and uh, Filipino American community thank organizations, you. and you continue to make us proud. Yeah, thank Talk you, to about, about your you know, projects. Well, I'm just happy to be here with you at E Play Move and Brother Paul over here. You know, this is Filipino American History Month, yes. right? October. I was just with the mayor last night, Eric Garcetti, and he spoke at the Philippine Consulate of Los Angeles, and the mayor said, LA should consider itself one of the great Filipino cities of the world. We wow, have, we that's have, a statement. It is. It's a statement. It's an affirmation. We have the largest population of Filipinos outside of the Philippines in Southern California. 
historic Filipino town is the only designated municipal uh, district for Filipinos in the United States. So we have a lot of firsts, a lot of history. One of the founders of the Pueblo de Los Angeles was from the Philippines. So Talma, we have so much history in LA. We are LA. This is our time, Joel. It is, this month, this event. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Lauren, Rayson, and James, and the Fam LA uh, organization for putting this on because it's about opening up your home, only we're not here. This is our sala. The streets are our sala. And what's the first thing you say when people come here? Sige, tuloy, kain tayo. Let's eat, and that's what you do. And not all you're so eating, accurate. but you're moving and you're playing and you're having building community. My goodness, I'm voting for you for president. Okay, remember me as your campaign manager. You're, ah. you're my sister, Thelma, and I love working with you because you. of your energy and of, ah. of your value, of your principles, of how you live your life Thank and how you. you connect and build community through this wonderful coffee corner, right? This wonderful program. And everything that you do in the community, Thelma, you're legit, and I appreciate and you. And Paul Mirador is too. He's the producer of this show. Without him, it couldn't be possible. I want to give a shout out to Paul. Thank you for your work in the Chamber of Commerce. It's all about business and how business creates wealth, creates opportunity, not just to have customers, but to serve people, to serve your employees, to serve your customers, to serve everyone. And when you serve everyone, you're successful. Joel Jacinto, that's what I like about you. It's all about service. Say a few words to our kababayan. Yung mga kababayan dito, you know, I'm so proud to be a Filipino-American along with all of you. And talagang what our asset, what our strength is, is our Filipino core values. That of kapwa, shared identity, pakiramdam, having that shared inner perception of understanding and being empathetic to everybody. And the third, kagandahang loob, which gives us this idea of shared humanity and noble goodness that we have inside. And all we have to do is live our lives in those three core value frames. That's our operating system, Kapwa OS. I love you, Joel. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. And that's right over there. Back here at the Coffee Corner Show, this time with El Yazar of Bob Boys. My goodness, that's such an appetizing menu. Lumpia burger, beef steak, onion rings, cassava cheesecake, and you're in Carson. Yeah, we're in Carson. Okay, and uh, here, let him take, there you go. What's your number one seller? So our number one seller is our Lumpia burger. So we have a Hawaiian bun. It, it's with garlic aioli and banana ketchup, and we make our patties in-house. So our patties have ground pork, uh, our carrots, our vegetables, our, um, our little spices, and our, our um, a little bit of spices, a secret ingredients. This is a ingredients made by, I mean, sorry, this is a recipe made by my mom actually, and we've been and this establishment and this establishment has been since been here since 2000. So we have this menu, which is pretty new. So my mother, my my brother took what all my mom's um, all my mom's recipes and he made it into fusion food. Wonderful! And your Facebook or Instagram account? And our Facebook and Instagram account is Bob Boys Carson's. Wonderful, and follow us, The Coffee Corner Show, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Coffee Corner Show. Thank you, El Yazar, and good luck. Hi, guys. Back here at The Coffee Corner Show, still at Eat, Play, Move LA, this time with Lexicon, and you look like the chef. Thank you, I am. Yay. I'm not a chef, but aspiring to be. Yay. Uh, yes. Mm. Talk, you know, I've been to your Nova's Grill in, in uh, is it Cano? Where? Okay, Covina. Pomona or Novena? Oh, right, Covina. one of those. Right, Covina. Right, I right. love it. I Thank love you. it. Okay, talk to us about what you have here. All right, and so bring the mic with you. we made a little Covina. creation. Yeah. We made a little creation right now. So we have seasick egg rolls because our restaurant's really famous with the egg rolls. Uh, so I try to make it into to to something more crunchy, a little bit more fusion. So I made it into uh, uh, egg rolls. And then over here, we have a seasick burrito. Our seasick is a little bit different. That's what we base our restaurant on, and that's what, that's what we're known for. So everything we have right here is seasick based. So we have our, our, our famous, you can never go wrong, with uh, garlic fried rice, seasick bowl, and an egg. We have seasick nachos with our secret sauce. We made that in-house. And obviously, we have our seasick tacos. Everything else is good, because we have citrus, we have spice, and we have lime, heat, uh, acid and fire. That's all you finally really need, right? Yeah, that's my favorite too. 
Well, thank you thank so, you so much, much, Lexicon, and good luck. What's your thank most you. Thank you. My Facebook account is facebook.com slash Lexicon Mendoza. And like us on Facebook, The Coffee Corner Show, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Coffee Corner Show. Thank you, Lexicon. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Everybody down there, everybody to the left. Back here at the Coffee Corner Show, still at Eat, Play, Move LA. This time with Chef Jeff. Hey, how's it going, guys? Our mussels and pearls when you're out of Long Beach. You got to explain to me, Jeff. All Those right. Those are wonderfully plated dishes. Talk to us about that. Go over there and show us what you've got. All right. All right. So um, for the Eat, Play, Move Festival, we, we wanted to give homage to our Filipino heritage. So we started off with a Pinoy-style oyster. So... It has a blend of Eden and Parmesan cheese, and then we top it off with um, a sweet longanisa from Pampanga. We do a chicharron right on top, and then we hit it with a calamansi aioli. And for our chef special, we got a Bengali prawn from Bangladesh, and then we serve it with two mussels that are topped with Parmesan cheese and um, garlic aioli and an oyster. We serve it with uh, a sweet tomato onion salad and a sal Wow, I'm starving now. Right? And for a sampler, it's um, three oysters and three mussels of your, cho your choice of any side of our sauces. So the um, bougie would be our garlic aioli, the bad is our Thai-inspired hot sauce, the ahi is our Peruvian-style cilantro lime pepper dressing, and the elote is um, fire-roasted corn. Okay, so I'm about to leave, but Paul here will be saying, make sure he tries You got it. I'm going to take care of him. Okay, wonderful. Paul, we'll be right back. This is the best. Chef Jeff. Hey. Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. Back here at the Coffee Corner Show, this time with Point Point in Tagalog, Turo Turo. Nanggaling na ako dito, Paul. Ang sarap ng pagkain. Ngayon pala, alam ko na kung bakit. Si Willie at si Becky ang sikreto kung bakit masarap at hanggang ngayon ay nakatindig pa ang point point. Ang iba ay nawawala na. Ano ang inyong sikretong mag-asawa? Uh, pagmamahal sa customers. Personal touch kasi we personally manage the business ourselves. And Willie, ano itong mga menu nyo? Ano ang pinakapopular? Uh, yung pampabata, li lichong kawali. Ah! Anong sikreto? Ba't naiiba ang lechon kawali nyo sa ibang lechon kawali? Uh, dahil sa sarsa, you know, first of all, tsaka yung pagiging malutong ng balat. Ayan! At dito, ano ang inyong fini-feature ngayon? Sisig fries, nakikita ko lechon kawali, lumpia, balot. Asin and fear factor, I like that. Turonitos, yan ang paborito ko. Sago at gulaman. Hayaan nyo, busog pa kami ni Paul, pero mamaya susubukan namin yan, ha? Pinoy, sure. Uh, Saan po nila kayo mahahanap? Ang address po nyo? It's on uh, 4627 Santa Monica Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90029. Sa malapit po yan sa Vermont, nakikita yeah, ko kayo eh. Santa Monica. Gano'ng katagal na po kayo? 16 years doon, pero the other place, uh, from Wilshire, another 15, so total of 31 years. Ako doon sa Wilshire, maganda rin po yun. At ang inyong pagmamahalan, gano'ng katagal na? 38 years na, going 39. Tignan nyo na, mas matagal pa kaysa sa point point. <laughs> ah, <laughs> mga anak ko. Ah, my na. kids! You're so lucky to take over this business, right? Ang gaganda ng mga anak nyo. May pinagmamanahan. Oh, yung iba nagluluto, yung iba, hi! We'll be right back here at Point Point. Alright. Thank you. Thanks. Salamat, Paul. Paul, thank you so much for allowing me to cover this amazing event that features our homeboys, Filipino-American community at their best, Muscles and Pearls, Turo Turo, Nova's Grill, just some of those names. And just visit Eat, Play, Move LA. The amazing partners, Lauren Delgado and Rayson Esquejo, and of course, the uh, venue supporter who happens to be Sanctuary Fitness, Zach Golden. Thank you so much, and we will do more of these, bring you more of these events live here at the Coffee Corner Show. So don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and finally, subscribe on YouTube. The Coffee Corner Show. Thank you, Paul. Signing off, this is Thelma Sugai. We'll be back next week.